What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to find out the pH of a buffer solution in three different concentrations. So what we have here is C2H5 and H2 and C2H5 and H3 Cl. C2H5 and H2 is ethylamine and C2H5 NH3 Cl is ethyl ammonium chloride which when it dissociates it is gonna give us Cl minus plus the cation which is gonna be NH3 plus so this one is the acid and this one is the base. So when we have it, we have C2H5 and H2 plus water. That's going to give me C2H5 and H3 plus plus OH minus. And the acid dissociation constant is 1.8 times 10 to the power of negative 11 and Kb is 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So I can say Kb equals to OH minus times C2H5 NH3 plus divided by C2H5 and H2 so when we have the ice table we're gonna have 0.5 of this 0.25 of this and 0 minus x plus x plus x so 0.5 minus x 0.25 plus x and x so then we can say 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 will be x times 0.25 plus x divided by 0.5 minus x and if we neglect x and x in here x will be 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 times 0.5 divided by 0.25 that's gonna give me 1.12 times 10 to the power of negative 3 so POH will be negative log 1.12 times 10 to the power of negative 3 that will be it's gonna give me 2.95 and pH will be 14 minus 2.95 that will be 11.05 that's the pH of this solution now let's see the part B part B is very similar to this one same con same solution but the concentration is different so everything is gonna be the same I'm gonna have I'm gonna use this formula here so 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 so it's going to be X, which is the concentration of hydroxy ion. And the other ion is going to be 0.5 plus X. And here we have 0.25 minus X. That's the ethylamine. These two cancel out. And X will be 0.25 times... 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 divided by 0 0.5 that's going to be 2.8 times 10 to the power of negative 4 so POH will be negative log 2.8 times 10 to the power of negative 4 that will be 3.55 so pH will be 14 minus 3.455, which is 10.45, as you see here. So everything was the same, only the concentration was changed, like this one and this one. So that's why we have the new pH. 
Let's do the same thing for the third part of this question with saying that calculate the pH of the buffered solution when we have 0.5 and 0.5 for each part, acid and base. So when we write, when we arrange it in the same way, 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 is going to be x times 0.5 plus x divided by 0.5 minus x x and x cancel out these two cancel out so x will be equal to 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 so p o h is going to be negative log 5.6 times 10 to the power of negative 4 that's going to be 3.25 so ph will be 14 minus 3.25 which is going to be 10.75 that's going to be the ph of this third solution